One per household. In 2014, the city began using water from the Flint River, rather than Lake Huron, in an effort to save money. The river water was much more corrosive, and now lead from the pipes has contaminated the water supply. People take water for granted. When you can't open a faucet and drink the water or cook with it, um, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's, people don't realize until you can't you know, use the water you have. Chris Duell and Dan Provost of CND Water Services are stepping in to help. We're sending a semi-truck load. Um, it's going to be 26 pallets. Um, there's 44 gallon bottles per pallet. So we're looking at 1,040 bottles of water. Both Duell and Provost are Flint natives and still have family and friends in the area. It hits home for me because my mom's right in the middle of it. She lives in one of the uh, highest uh, areas for uh, the lead contaminant. So. I mean, it, and I also have other family members that live right in the middle of Flint, so. They are also working with their equipment supplier to try and send additional resources to their hometown. Water bottles is short term. You know, we need some other solutions other than water. So, you know, whatever temporary filtering they can do too. But in the meantime, the hope is that Flint knows they aren't forgotten. And I want people, when they see the truck, I hope they smile and say just, you know, thank you for, you know, from everyone, you know, the other people from outside of the city of Flint are thinking of them. The duo also owns the Little Caesars here in Williston, and all proceeds between January 25th and January 31st will go to Flint to help them deal with the ongoing crisis. Reporting in Williston for NBC North Dakota News, I'm Nick Amatangelo.